morning. I'm Crawford Gordon. Nice Good to morning. meet you. Hello, I'm Crawford Gordon. Good to see you. Good morning. morning. Good to see you. Who is that? Crawford Gordon. C.D. Howe's boy wonder in the war. Ran the whole munitions production. Good morning, gentlemen. Madam, I'm Crawford Gordon. Please sit down. Mr. Gordon, I've assigned Chief Engineer Floyd here to make a report on the crash. James? Well, we'll have a full report on your desk by the end of the week, sir, but uh, we think the basic cause of this crash... Thank you, James. I'm confident that the problems with the CF-100 will be solved and we'll be back into full production very soon. Oh, thank you. And this company, Avro, has the capability, the brains, the tools to accomplish anything we set our minds to. You've shown it in the past. You built the Anson. The Lancaster bomber. The jetliner. First passenger jet in North America by several years. Designed and built right here. There's no lack of ability in this company. What you need is leadership. That's where I come in. But today I want to talk about the future of this company. With the advances in metallurgy, electronics, hydraulics, we're on the threshold of a whole new era in aircraft design where almost anything is possible. I see a future that will take us farther than anyone has imagined, speed and altitude, into the stratosphere, maybe even to the very edge of space. And here is the first step. These are the operational requirements for a new aircraft which has been secretly tendered by the Royal Canadian Air Force. It's a highly specialized, high-performance fighter interceptor. Do you know where they've gone for bids? To the Americans, to the Brits. Well, I believe it's the destiny of Avro Canada to build this new aircraft right here. Beyond Mach 2, the Americans have to dive their savers straight down to get past Mach 1. Battle operational from freezing to boiling? Oh, no existing metal could withstand this. How did the other manufacturers respond? They said it was impossible. I want to hear what you say. Well, uh, I'm sure it would be a very intriguing project, Mr. Gordon, but uh, the fact of the matter is that the speeds they're asking for would either melt or tear the wings and tail off any existing airframe design. So you're saying it's impossible? Well, um, technically, given the data and the materials presently available, yes, it's impossible. I see. Well, I'm disappointed. I guess I was wrong. <laughs>